you lot definitely thought I was done for, didn't you? Mm. Not quite yet. Now, I know what you're all thinking. I was going to be dead forever. Couldn't handle the fucking man flu, but oh, I battered it. No, actually, I didn't. I was laid in bed, sulking and whinging and whining for like three days. I, mean, I did nothing. I did nothing. But I'm back, fighting fit, ready to take on all this resale of beef in the world. Oh. I'm joking. I'm not going to discuss the reseller shenanigans that are going on at the moment. As always, I'm going to go through the sales first and just dive straight in, get those out the door and start getting some normality back to my life. Because I, like I said, I've just been dying for the last three days. No gym, haven't stuck to eating plan because I've barely ate anything at all. And when I have, I've just wanted to eat something. So I've had soup and bread. <laughs> my voice has been like Barry White for the last three days. Now it just sounds like Kermit the Frog. It's terrible. Well, we're going to have to try and see if I can remember these prices because I've tried to be clever and print the labels off first. But it means my orders are now on a different screen to what they normally are. So, see if we can remember this, shall we? Black ink cartridge, paid pennies, sold for £11. And a tricolour ink cartridge, paid pennies again, sold for £11.99. 22 quid in sales, pre-fees for these two. Big Brian has picked up the Virgin Media TV remote. £8.76, 876, 678. I probably would have took 678, but I appreciate you, brother. Big shout out now to Steve and Kim. Ages ago, they picked up the Man United money pot, the little ceramic one that I picked up for four quid from the Chazza car boot sale. I'm going to try not to edit much this time. I forgot what I was saying. I can't remember. Another sale for £8.76. Steve and Kim, I appreciate you both. Oh, my goodness. Am I going to survive this today? I don't know if I am. £11.99 for the two packs of DVDs. Now they're going out after quite a long time being on my store. But there was only a pound a pack, so I thought I'll have them. Do you know what I mean? They sat around for a while. The IKEA Cassap that I paid £2 for from that last car boot sale that I actually went to, which was diabolical. I was just buying things for the sake of buying it in the end. I mean, this was always worth the pickup. Sold for £14.99 and the customer has already left me positive feedback. So I'm guessing they mistakenly left it for me. Or you might watch the channel and just know that it's going to get there exactly as you bought it. So if that's the case, Susan, I really appreciate it. If not, Susan, I still really appreciate it. £2 into £14.99. Big sale now, so strap in and prepare to learn. Matchbox Lesney car. Sold it for about £4.50. Can't remember, the screen's not on there. £4.50. I've got to post that for three quid still. I'm sending out offers. I... Last week, I actually took loads of low-value items off my store and obviously left some on and I sent offers out and this was still on then it went out. So I'm probably going to make about 12 pence once it's done. <laughs> Whoever picked this up, I appreciate it regardless. Mystery of the Abbey has sold. Paid £3.50 for this. Sold it for £29.99. pence. Always look out for the Days of Wonder stuff. They sell quite well. I sold a shooting jumper. It is French. It's got a boar's head on it and like pads on it. I will see if I can do a screenshot. Ricky, come on, this time, do a screenshot. Paid £4, sold for £13.34. Nice little one, that is. Stuck around for a bit, but it's because I didn't really know how to advertise it. I think the whole title is in French, near enough. Shooting sweater shoulder pads. Le pad de l'eau's boar's head. Look. <laughs> I'm even selling it in French, mate. And for £12.79, I've sold... Should I get it? Yeah, let's get it. For £12.79, we've sold the Fisher Price roll along thing. We've got that sound of like murderous park in the middle of midnight and someone's going to get you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Maybe not, maybe it's just me. Pure profit on that bundle now. That's the Fisher Price bundle that I picked up a little while ago from them sweet old ladies. Unless I'm being thick, that is all of the eBay sales. I'll get those packed up. And then we'll move on to Vinted. Oh, Vinted, what drama. eBay parcels packed up, done, sorted, out the door, ta-da. Moving over to Vinted. Sold a pair of Marlboro Classic cargo trousers for £12.12. And 12 pence. They're just cargo trousers. I'll try and do a screenshot if I can remember. Probably won't. I've just realised I've been a massive idiot, so I'm going to have to reach out to the customer on this one. Sold two PlayStation controllers. The sticks are a little bit janky. But I've just realised I've put in the title two PlayStation PS2 controllers. They're not PS2, they're PS1. They're PS1. So hopefully the customer knows that. So before I ship that, I am actually going to reach out and ask her. Sammy, I'm not sure if you watched the channel because you did message me and say thank you. And that could just be you saying thank you for the order. But 
I'm going to reach out to you first and see if you understand that. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Let's offer £12 anyway. It's because I listed some other stuff earlier. The PS2. I was just... I was like, what an idiot. Just realised. The North Face beanie we picked up last week for £2 has sold for £5. Sold the SNES Game Genie. This is sold to Rob. Rob says, cheers, Ricky, keep up the graft. Your hard work, knowledge, and selfless uploads don't go unnoticed and unappreciated. Big up, brother. Rob, big up to you, mate. It's nice to be appreciated, but it's not necessary. Thank you, mate. Bunch of ELC Christmas toys now. These have sold for £7 all in. I had an offer. Unfortunately, the lady didn't accept it in time and they went to somebody else. But these have sold for £7 all in. Lee has picked up the Aquascutum shirt. You got a, quite a good deal on this one as well. £7.77. Lee is over on eBay and whatnot as the Wizard of Claws. Get it? Wizard of Oz, Wizard of Claws, Cloves, Claws. The Wizard of Claws. I think that's fantastic. Genius. So if you want to go check out his store, go and give that a little browse. Aquascutum, size small, £7.77. On its way to you, mate. Bargains. We've sold the gym. Sold the gym ragdoll. Paid a pound for this one from the car boot sale. Sold for £16. I do need to remember to find his other slipper because it has came off before I uh, go and ship that. So let me put that somewhere so random that I've got no choice but to remember. There we go. This other one's actually missing now. Let me see if I can find that. Where is that box D? There it is. Found it. Dealt with it. Dealt with. I am going to drop all these parcels off at some point today as well. So when we do that, we'll head into the Chazza. See if we can't pick some else up to add to the store, shall we? Things are vintage. While I'm doing my orders, I'm looking at the screen. I'm trying to sort it out. And it keeps like showing me things that I want to buy. It keeps showing me stuff. I'm like, ah, you're here to sell. £8.43. We've sold the Osmonds t-shirt. I was going to keep it, but just one size too small for me. I like my stuff a little bit baggier when it's like that. This is sold to Phoebe. I don't know if you're a subscriber or not. Or again, if you're just a polite customer. Because when I sold it, you message me saying, ta. So Phoebe, ta to you. Paid £3, I think. £8.43. No drama, no stress. Speaking of Phoebe, jelly cat, jelly cat. Well, I've got the voice as well. Smelly cat, smelly cat. What are they feeding you? Listen, I'm a fucking millennial, all right? Friends was my thing. Couldn't stick it now. I've watched the little episode a little while ago and I was like, why did I enjoy this? People change, moods change, friends now. I just don't, I don't, I can't. But so I'm not going to, should I do it? Yeah, go on. Oh, I forgot how long that takes to go up. I'll start filming again once that's finished. Right, it's finished. Oh, I've still got a little bit left on it. Either way, Jelly Cat, £7.77 is sold to Ryan. Big up yourself, mate. Really appreciate this. And if I do find the Arsenal shirt, I'll let you know if I haven't sold it already. For £14.14, and pence, Jake has picked up the Liverpool football top. Almost forgot what it was. Nice little bargain on that one. He's picked it up from his vintage account, Sports Cards Lincoln. So if you'd like to go check that out and see if Jake has anything you'd like to go pick up over there. Jake, appreciate you, mate, on its way to you today. Martin has picked up the Funko Pop DC Christmas collection that I had. He says him and his wife, Kirsty, always watch the channel. So I really appreciate you guys. They managed to snag that for £8.90 for the lot. John Briggs actually wanted this originally. I did try and message you on TikTok, mate, but apparently you've changed your settings or something. So I couldn't message you. Maybe he's blocked me, I don't know. But uh, I couldn't I couldn't get hold of you, mate. I did try, unfortunately. But Martin and Kirsty, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And last but not least, for £7.77, for a £2.75 pickup, we've sold the Sloth water bottle. Preloved underscore reseller over on Instagram has picked this one up. So Hester, I do appreciate it, and it will be on its way to you today. And we're all caught up on the sales. Whee! While I was off sick, I did do some things that were quite important, like admin work, got my accounts up to date with QuickBooks and Boffix, because they've been asking me for the last month, and I've been terrible. So that's all up to date. Consolidated my eBay sales, consolidated my bank account. I've actually moved my bank account as well. I've moved over to Monzo. So now I've got my Monzo personal, my Monzo joint, and my Monzo business account, all in one space. Oh, I love that. Before I had business, personal, oh, just everything was just whacked over everywhere. So if you have been buying things off me on Instagram and you've got my bank details saved, 
forget about it. That account's now closed, gone, doesn't exist. So don't send any money over there because you will lose it. I'll give you my new ones if we ever make a new sale again. Right, I'll get these eBay stuff packed up. We'll go and drop them off at the parcel shop and then we'll go check out the Chazza. I'm currently starving. I've got no ingredients in it to have any food. Not even that I want it. I'm just like, I'm kind of, I feel much better in myself, but it's still something lingering, do you know what I mean? It's pissing down out there as well. Right, let's get these done. I know I keep buzzing about it, but the drop and go of every is fantastic. I know it's not an official service, but these guys are legendary. Let's go. Good morning. Good mornings. I'm going to squeeze oh, by you. How are you? I'm getting there. Getting there? Getting there, Get, getting there is good enough. Yeah. I seem to take six steps forward and then three back. Well, at least you're still moving forward. But, yeah, it's, it's definitely... As long as it's not three forward and six back, you're doing all right. <laughs> yeah. Let's go chicken box on the floor. It's empty today. Good afternoon. Good morning. morning, I mean. Good morning, you're right. Yeah, these are my size, I don't think these ones are they? Yeah, it's a bit too small for you. I think so as well. How you'd have been, you're right? Yeah, fine. 22 Garrett Gold, oh my. Are you going to let me look at your rail today or are you too busy? No, you can look at that now. How are you? Yeah, all good. I think I've been around the whole shop and I can't find anything and we know, we know you can't have that, can we? Normally, if someone's nicked it, there's a spare hanger in there hanging up. I'm not nick anything, like I'll tell you. I'm sick of it. How much is that? We'll check for some holes. If there's no holes in that, we'll have it. We'll have that. Oh, I'm nosing, don't you worry. Sometimes I think you do this on purpose, save you a job. Sometimes I think you leave it out here thinking, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to empty half of it. Well, you might do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that back on the shelf for you, though. Yeah. Is it that, that, this one? No, not that one. Is that the one? Is it a, is it a monkey? <laughs> Okay, I'll buy it. I'll hang this up. I can't shut it up now. Quick look in the stock box before it come out and we filled the basket. That'll do. Oh, sorry, I've done it again. Yeah, cute, isn't it? I think you pull up. They're books, I think. They're bookends, yeah. Yeah, and, and books. I think these come out and there's a little book. There's a little book there, look. So there we go. Just a quick trip into the chat. Oh, I can see the back of my head. Hello, and it's on cinematic mode. This is gonna. This is gonna. This is gonna. That's better. Quick trip into the charity shop. We haven't made millions, but we've done all right. Little monkey for two pound. I'll probably sell this for about six or seven, but I think Ada's gonna like this. I wanna show you, but I don't know how long it lasts for. And I can't just turn it off. Basically, it lasts and farts. One pounds 50 for a Dymo 1885. Nice little label printers these are. This should sell for about seven to 10 quid. Two pounds 50 for these lovely little bookends. It's actually Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, if you don't know who they are. But when you pull them out, there's little reading books inside. Really quite nice, quite cute. These are all made of wood. I think these are resin. Nothing seems to be chipped off or broken, which is quite shocking, really, isn't it, I suppose. £2.50. I'm going to estimate about 15 quid on those. And for £5, with winter around the corner and autumn here, picked up a nice little blanket by the company English Heritage. There we go, something to look out for. This is all wool, made in England, English Heritage. Cost me a fiver. Depending on the size, I think this sort of size goes for about 25 to 30 quid. It's your classic kind of... It's getting a bit cold, put a blanket over your lap type of blanket. But when you are buying blankets, you need to be careful. You need to have a good check to see if there's any like dog hairs in there. What I mean by dog hairs, one or two you can kind of deal with, but when it's clearly been used for a dog bed or something like that, or a house which has dogs on all the sofas and stuff, it is really hard to get all the hair out of these sort of things. 
This one, thankfully, is not contaminated. So it'll be a quick, easy sell. A little bit of straw there, though. Quick, easy sell on that one for about 30 quid, I should like to imagine. 30, 45, 55. Is that it? I thought I picked up more than that, but 55 quid for 13 pound. Obviously, I haven't included the price of this because I think Ada's going to like that for a while. 55 quid. Just topped up the store. My job now is 11 minutes past 11, which is a lovely number. My job now is to go indoors and take loads of photographs of clothing again and load them all onto Vinted. 2002 RL, if you haven't already. And I'll see you over there. Nice to get a video out. Nice to start, start moving past the illness and actually get back to some kind of normality. Don't think I'm 100%, but I'm getting there. Hopefully this sunshine lasts through the week, then I can actually get to a car boot sale. I was too ill this week. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one. Ta-da!